From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us right now for your top stories. I'm Mark Zinni. Hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. We are learning about the first UK variant death here in Connecticut. Officials telling us the person died last week and was between the ages of 30 and 40. Health experts say this is a virus mutation that's more contagious. We did speak with an infectious disease expert at the Yale School of Medicine who told us that we cannot let our guard down. The common places that you would get, you know, the non-variant COVID, I mean, it's the same places you'd get the variant. Now, the Department of Health has confirmed more than 80 cases of the UK variant here in Connecticut so far. A new civil rights complaint says the state's age-based vaccine rollout is unfair to black and brown residents. The complaint filed with the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services seeks to reprioritize frontline workers and those with underlying conditions. By throwing out all of the exceptions and not having um, any way for people to ask for accommodations, and, and exceptions. That's problematic, and that's where I feel the law is being broken. Last month, another group filed a complaint saying the change was unfair to people with disabilities. We have some new details about a mother from New London accused of killing her child. Connecticut child welfare officials say Tiffany Ferrato contacted them to report that an unknown person may have harmed her child in the past, but the state says they referred her to community resources. Ferrato was charged with murdering her four-year-old son over the weekend. The court has put her on a suicide watch, saying she suffers from serious mental health problems. It is shaping up to be a gorgeous midweek. Wednesday is going to feature plenty of bright sunshine and the wind's going to be light. Now, temperatures are going to range anywhere from the uh, 40s along the uh, shoreline to uh, the mid and upper 50s over interior portions of the state. But overall, a very pleasant day. Thursday and Friday will be even warmer, feeling more like late April and early May, mid to maybe the upper 60s. There's only a slight chance for a shower Friday morning. Then the weekend is going to be noticeably cooler. 46 and windy on Saturday and Sunday, partly sunny and breezy, a high near 40. But it is going to be a nice weekend.